this seems to be the way, so let's follow it. On our way here, the guide talked about several of the tall towers that KL, yeah, that's what it's called, it seems, as often as Kuala Lumpur. I can see why. Just easier to say, isn't it? All the tall buildings that KL has are basically government buildings. Even the Petronas Towers is technically a government building because it's the National Petroleum Company. This is a government-run thing rather than an actual you know, independent corporation. It's not the easiest sort of thing for someone like me to wrap my head around because we tend to think of government as being really good at bollocksing things up and have them in control of entire industry seem as anathema. Heck, we don't even let one corporation be in charge of an entire industry. We break them up to make sure there's at least three or four of them. Well, we've made it to the convention center, but that doesn't quite help me find the Petronas Tower. I was hoping to go up to the top if I could, and I'm having a little trouble figuring out where it is. Part of me is pleased to find a food court, just for future reference, although Fuel Shack? Okay, another name ripoff, I guess. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, I'm not seeing the way to get to the thing that I was looking for. And I'm not sure where I missed it. You'd think something that big would be impossible to miss. Well, this explains something. I was laboring under the impression that the convention center was basically at the foot of the Petronas Towers. It's clearly not. I've just come out of the convention center and I can... Well, I can't because I'm looking at the viewfinder, but you can see that the towers are behind me by some distance. And it's probably not that far, but it's far enough that it's not here. <laughs> I don't know whether to hike for them or not. Well, it does seem like the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, which is also of that way over there where I was, but there is something at the foot of the Petronas Towers after all. I was just in the wrong one, I guess. It is uh, quite the complex, actually. Complete with some very interesting fountain design and parks and everything like that. So, time to check it out, I guess. As with the mall at the base of Taipei 101, this is fairly high-end stuff, and not my thing as a general rule. But, you know, if this is the way to get to where I want to go, all right, it's quite the mall. But uh, I'm also discovering I'm still not quite where I want to be. I don't know if you can see it, but through those windows, yep, there it is. The towers are not directly above us. And I don't know how to get there. But maybe I'm not supposed to. You know, if you don't work there, I mean, it's not like... Let's put it this way. Where would you put the observation deck in a twin building? So, maybe we're not supposed to go up there or something. Seems odd you know, to have something that would be a tourist attraction and then not use it as such. But uh, what do I know? Well... I asked a young lady at the Petronas exhibit on the fifth floor of the mall, and she said to me, I went through the mall, and here I am. So I guess I need to find tickets, and uh, then just head up. Before we go up, we need to go down. Well, sometimes these things don't work out. They're apparently sold out until 3.30, and of course, we're meeting the bus at 3 o'clock. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that it's like that, but um, it is what it is. You have to do this on a time basis, such as life. As unfortunate as that was, I could at least pass the wisdom on to a couple of fellow passengers, not just from the cruise ship, but from my bus. Literally, they're sitting across the aisle from me. I see them coming in and going, well, better warn them, otherwise they'll be wasting 15 minutes trying to get in line. 
and uh, you know, for nothing. I hate to break bad news like that, but on the other hand, you don't want them wasting their time in line for all that and then not being able to do anything. So.